chemical formulas, empirical formula, molecular formula, and structural formula. A chemical formula tells us the number of atoms of each element in a compound. It contains the symbols of the atoms of the elements present in the compound, as well as the number of atoms for each element in the form of subscripts. The molecular formula, also called the true formula, gives the symbol and actual number of atoms of each element in a molecule. Also, it uses subscript to show the number of atoms. Here are examples of molecular formulas. In this instance, notice that ethane has two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms, while butane has four carbon atoms and ten hydrogen atoms, and so on. The empirical formula provides the smallest whole number mole ratio of the elements. It gives the relative number of atoms of each element in a compound. Here are the corresponding empirical formula, which were derived from given molecular formulas of compounds. For ethane, the two carbons to six hydrogen ratio became one carbon to three hydrogen ratio. For butane, the ratio of four to 10 was simplified to two is to five ratio. In some cases, molecular formulas are already at their simplest ratio. This means, the subscript cannot be further reduced. Therefore, the molecular formula is the same as the empirical formula. Methane, sucrose, ethanol, and acetic acid. The structural formula shows both the actual number of atoms of elements in a compound and how the atoms are arranged, as well as which atoms are bonded to one another. Let's take a look at ethane. Here is the condensed structural formula and expanded structural formula. Now, here is the condensed and expanded structural formula of butane. the condensed and expanded structural formulas of hexane. Lastly, the condensed and expanded structural formulas of ethanol. Notice also the methyl group, methylene group, and hydroxyl group of the structure. 